Hello guys, welcome back to a video. Today guys, I'm going to be doing a episode of my team on NBA 2K17. So, since the last video I made, I've made a lot, a lot of improvements. Um, I'm just not making videos lately just because I've been trying to get this up to mid level. So, here's my lineup. We got Diamond, Chauncey Billups at point guard, James Harden at shooting guard, Small Fords, Gordon Hayward. I actually packed him. Paul Mills at power forward. Wes Unsilled at center. Backup point guard is Nate Ultrabald. Backup shooting guard is CJ McCollum. Backup small forward is <coughs> Kevin Durant. And uh, Spencer Hayward at power forward. Um, Bob McAdoo at center. And J.R. Smith and Kawhi Leonard and Dennis Schroeder, just in case we need some more help. So that's our team right now. We got 26k and we got some stuff in the auction house. But this is the problem. Um, the auction house is basically dead. Um, I thought these guys were snipes because the auction house was dead and they were not. But I do know a lot about sniping and I'm going to teach you guys about that today. So I'm going to be calling this like a sniper's journey or whatever. That's yeah, like a sniper's journey. So. This is how you would snipe diamonds. So the way you snipe diamonds is what you do is is that you go to the search auction place in the auction house, and then you basically put diamond, and then you put 500, and then 20k. Basically, just put 20k. Now, usually, because the market crash, there would only be a couple cards in here, but because of the market crash. There's a lot of players in here, and you might get confused if you come back to this. So that's why I'm making this video now. So players that are not snipes would be Nate Ultraball, because I actually thought he was an, a snipe at first. Tim Duncan's not a snipe. Mark Jackson's not a snipe. Jason Terry's not a snipe. Um, let's see if there's another one. Steve Smith is definitely not a snipe. Um, Kevin Johnson's not a snipe. Just trying to find all of them for you guys. That's all of them in there. So those are all of them that I can see at the moment that are not snipes. But if you see like a, like a freaking, um, like a Kevin Durant diamond, I don't care if it's the market crash. It's crazy. Expensive. Definitely go try to get that. Try to go pick that up. But right now, I would just. I honestly, I wouldn't sell anything. The only reason I'm selling these is because I actually bought them and thought they were snipes. So I'm trying to make a little bit of profit off of them. I bought them for like 19k each. So if I'll make like a thousand profit, which off of non snipes is not bad. And then we get this Mike Conley here, which his price is gonna go up so much after the market crash. So this market crash is actually the worst ever, honestly. Like I should just show you guys some of these diamonds. Like before this market crash, some of the this play he was going for two hundred K before the market crash. Now he's going for about a hundred K. I mean, that's just crazy in my opinion that a player that good is I mean look at this LeBron James is the only player in the game over 1 million. Now, this LeBron James card, I, I honestly have nothing to say about it. It is definitely the best card in the game. Like, just look at its stats from just here. It has 20, 95 shot contest, 96 pick it. I mean, look at all these 90s. and I mean, it's just crazy. That card is nasty. Kareem is going for only 200k when he was going for about 300 and 400 before the refresh. Before not the refresh, the uh, the market crash. Jerry West, he was going for 100k. Now he's going for 28k. Just crazy. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, the other diamond, is going for about 100k now. This LeBron, because the new one came out, it's going lower, but that's because of the new one. That doesn't really involve the market crash. Steve Francis was like 100K before the market crash. He was about 100K before the market crash. I mean, this market crash has literally made everything in the game fall. I mean, I've not seen one player that stayed the same other than players that came out 
like, after, which has only been one, and that's LeBron. But, like, even, like, these super overpowered cards, like, look at this, Russell Westbrook, a 98 Russell Westbrook's going to throw the 100K. Honestly, like, the prices have gone. Like, this is the guy I want. Like, if I, if I had to choose a guy that I really wanted in my, my team, it would be this guy. Because even though his stats don't look very good, he has limitless rage, and players with limitless rage, to be quite honest, I don't care about their stats, because I literally use that badge so much that if it's shoot, let's see his shooting, I'm pretty sure it's shoot, like, th there you go, 99 open shot 3 with limitless rage, that's with limitless rage, so like, if he basically can pull up from basically anywhere if he's open and score every time. This card is probably one of the best in the whole game. Um, I really want to get it just because I really, really like that. So, we'll see what happens on that one. But this is probably the most overpowered center in the game. If you guys want to pick up a center that's like 20k, best center in the game is this guy right here. Now, I'm obviously using him, so stats can't be better, which that's only because of the shoe. But, like... This guy is so good. Like, he literally acts like a 99 diamond. He's so good. We're not even going to talk about the LeBron. Uh, let's see if there's any other players that's gone down. This guy! He was like 150k, and now he's like 50. Like, look at the comparison. Even this 94 center that's supposed to be the best in the game. One of the best in the game at, at uh, three players. He still, he still isn't as good. I mean, it's just crazy. It's like, honestly, yes, he has a really good release, but I don't really care. I mean, the release doesn't really matter. Oh, it does matter, but it's not like, this guy was going for literally 150k. And now he's going for... Look at this. This 94 Matumbo doesn't even match up against my unsold. I mean, this Jokic even. I mean, look at this Jokic. This Jokic is, like, not even close. It's just crazy. It's like... Okay, now he's probably going to beat him. Yeah. Not by much, though, man. I mean, that was... Oh, my God. This guy was, like, 250K. And um, he's, like... Now, honestly, some cards I thought have stayed the same would be, like, Tracy McGrady, Kevin Durant. Harden's probably a little bit down, but not, like, like 20K. Oh, yeah. Ray Allen has fallen. Like, Ray Allen has fallen off the cliff. I mean... I mean, look at this. There's Kevin Durant. He's still 227k. He's just so good. Doesn't he have limitless range on this card? No, but like Kevin Durant is just nasty. Look, at this. now Burl Russell has a buy now. Like, what? What's that? <laughs> I mean, uh, I love. Like, honestly, I love and hate this at the same time because. You literally, the, you can't get any MT, but at the same time, if you have MT, literally this is the best time to buy anything. If you guys have MT right now, you guys have MT, go grab the MT and get some good players. Because honestly, this, this market crash is going to last for a while, actually. Because I would say that the market crash is going to end when these packs... Go out of pack because these packs still have 25 days left. So what that means is that people are pulling all these cards that have been out of packs for at least two to three months, and now that they're back in packs. Every single price has just gone so down. I mean, like crazy down. So I really, really hope that if we get like a, you know. Because, okay, I'm a cast fan, obviously, but I already know that I think the Warriors are going to sweep the Cavs. And, to be quite honest, I don't 
want that to be, like, I don't want it to happen, but I know it's going to happen. So, basically, in this game, they're probably going to come out with, like, a 99 Steph Curry, um, a 99 probably Kevin Durant, a 99 Clay Thompson. I mean, honestly, if they... They're not gonna call out another LeBron. That they know that Le they might call out another Kyrie though, because Kyrie, his best card is a ninety-five, and that card's a reward card. So I would bet that they could release another, uh, another uh, like Kyrie card. But anyone else on the cat, I can't really think who. Uh, maybe Jr., but probably not. I mean Jr. He's been so bad in the finals. Awful. So, in other words, there's other ways you can snipe things. So, like, rubies, you can do, like, 500 or 1,000 on the refresh. So, there's things called refreshes. And right now, it is five minutes till the refresh. So, basically what a refresh is, and I'll tell you, and then we'll try to see if we can do it. But... A refresh is when the market basically refreshes. It takes some of the cards that have not been bid on in a while off, and it puts new cards on. And for some reason, those new cards are usually very low in price. So, for example, this guy I thought was a snipe because I'd never seen him before on the refresh. Now, his stats look pretty nice, to be fair. I love his stats, actually. But I, th he was not a snipe after all. But like, if you see a freaking like Kevin Durant in this filter, then like you're lucky as crap. Like, let's just say, like you're freaking lucky. Like, I mean, I've not seen anything in this filter in about a week. But the thing is, is that that's because of the market crash. Because. I thought a lot of things were snipes, and then the market crash came, and I'm like, I don't know. So it's going to be one of those things where... It's going to be one of those things where it's just going to be luck. I mean, literally, on sniping, you just got to get luck. What you could do is that when the market crash ends, you could, like, literally, like, about what it's... Like, you're not going to know exactly when it's up to end. Obviously, but when there's signs of it about to end it, you probably should start sniping because what people are going to start doing is, is that people are going to start thinking that the market crash is still going on and put cards for really cheap because they think that that's the only way they'll sell because people are very lazy in this game and just put up those kind of things. So I think that they will probably... When the market crash ends, like not ends, but like is about to end, and some of the cards are going back in value, like this Kevin Johnson here, whatever he is, this Kevin Johnson is probably gonna go up back up to 50k, but then people will still put him up for 20k because people think he's still a snipe. So basically, the next week and a half are gonna be really good, bad for sniping, but the rest of probably. The rest of June, maybe a little bit into July, is going to be very good for sniping because of the market crash. Now, as you guys can see, um, this market crash is probably affecting you guys also. Now, I know you guys probably are as, like, I know, like, some of you guys don't like, like NBA 2K. Like, I love NBA 2K. I've been playing it a lot, and... I think that's a great game, but this is the problem. It's like, I mean, think about this, guys. Just, guys, think about this for a second. You have NBA 2K and NBA Live. Which one would you rather play? Just put that in the comments, because I actually want to see what who would rather play NBA Live. So, the refresh is in about a minute. So, now we're going to start... Then I can show you guys what a refresh actually looks like. Um, the refresh is about one minute. So, in the uh, description, I'm going to put a link to a um, site that tells you... Or, like, I'm going to put, like, a like an annotation... Not an annotation, but, like, a thing on the screen 
after this refresh or what the times are of the refresh, you guys can use it. Um, because if you guys can use the refresh, then it's going to be great. Uh, you guys will get tons and tons of good cards. I mean, the refresh, like, if you're starting off and you have, like, maybe 2,000, 3,000 MT, the way you start, just snipe rupees. Now, I would show you what rupees are good, but the problem is, is that the refresh, the market crash makes it almost impossible to show you guys what it is. Like, so right now, it should be happening in a little bit. So, let's see, did it happen? I think it's happening, so let's see. Nope, not yet. So, it's not refreshing yet. Look, it takes a second. Nope. We're just going to wait the way they gave. It's, 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 and it should refresh about now, so. <coughs> so, let's hope that refreshes. Um, and no sign of it refreshing, so maybe it's just a dead refresh. So sometimes it's like dead refreshes that just literally for some reason you can't find any cards that are new on the market. But, you know, we'll keep trying on this just in case something pretty good comes up. And, uh, yeah, so hopefully it comes up. I'm really hoping we get, like, a good card. Well, we will see about that. Uh, there you go. Okay, it happened. So, basically, do you see, guys, now how there's two Kevin Johnsons? There's only one before. Actually, three Kevin Johnsons. There's a Mike Codley, a Sleepy Floyd for 18K. I mean, I'm going to keep going just in case there's something else. <coughs> just in case there's something else. Nope. So, basically, that's what happens. So, basically, new cards go on the market. And a lot of the cards, usually most times, you wouldn't buy these two cards. Now, the thing is, is that Mike Conley's not a snipe either. I actually wanted to show you that because I... Guys, that. Mike Conley's not a snipe. He is not a snipe. So, do not pick him up. Do not pick him up. He is not a snipe whatsoever. Now... What I'm going to do is is that now that the thing is happening. Oh my gosh, yes, my David West sold. Guys, look at that. Let's get it. So there you go, 46K. So my David West sold, and now I just need my uh, Jason Terry to, sold, to sell. So that's good. So I'm about to get back up to sell 65K. Um, and guys, just to show you like what the Ruby filters are, basically you just do this. Like, not 950, but you do like a thousand. And basically, you just hope for the best. Uh, honestly, I don't snipe rubies anymore just because I, like, don't need to. But at the beginning of the game, when I had, like, 2,000 MT and I needed MT badly, what I did is I just literally snipe rubies. Now, Ruiz Lee are not snipes. Jeff T, Bao Gordon, Patrick Beverly, Mario Ellie, Trevor Ariza, Joe Johnson, Daniel Gibson, and Norman Powell and Jonathan Simmons. These are not snipes. Now I can show you if you see like I wanna show you what cards if you like if you see this card for one thousand then you need to pick it up because it goes for about 1800 on the market, usually. Uh, this Robert Horry is not a snipe either, no matter what. He just doesn't go for anything. Bobby Jackson is... It matters to you. Honestly, he's sort of a snipe, but at the same time, uh, not really. Um, Matthew Doubledo is not a snipe. Uh, I'm trying to find something. He is not a snipe. He looks convincing, but he's not a snipe. Um... Let me see if there's anyone else that's new. I think I can show you guys. Nene is is a snipe if you see him for under 1,000. 100. If you see... Okay, this is a snipe. If you see him under 1,300, you'll at least make 500 profit. Javel McGee is also a snipe if you see him for about 1,000. Um, Let's see if I can find someone else. Uh... Trying to find several guys. <laughs> Hopefully he's here. I don't know if he's... Oh. He looks convincing again, but he's not a snipe either. This guy's not a snipe. Don't get confused. He's not a snipe. Uh, this 
Now, the, these are tricky, though, because in the refresh, like, these guys are usually not snipes. Like, you, I, I think Jalen Brown's actually a snipe, like, a actual snipe. I probably could do it right now. But because of the market crash, I think they're not going for as much anymore. So, I'm not going to take the risk on that one. But Fat Lever and Isaiah Thomas are not snipes. But if you see them after the market crash, they're snipes. Um, Jalen Brown is... If you see a Jalen Brown for under 1,000, it's a snipe. Like, 1,000 MT, it's a snipe. Um, try to think of any other people that are here that I can tell you guys about. Um, I think that's it. Honestly, those are, like, the main people that you would see in a refresh or a, like... You know, like any other type of, you know, like if you're refreshing the market, basically. Um, is there anyone else that I missed? No, I don't think so. So, there you go, guys. So, if you guys uh, like this video, please like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time for another video. Peace out.